Yep, days like this, you really miss the sweet embrace of Nicaragua. Why? Because I'm freezing my ass off here in Sweden. Let's find out why Nicaragua might be Central America's most underrated country, and perhaps even the best. Yeah, so obviously the weather in Nicaragua is nice and warm. It's a classical tropical country with a wet and a dry season. The hottest months March, April and May. You can expect temperatures around or over 30 degrees Celsius and not a single drop of rain. This is heaven for all us sun worshippers who love chilling by the water or enduring the scorching heat cruising through the beautiful colonial cities. Just look what the sun did to my sunblock container. On the other hand, during the wet season and especially in October, it could be raining constantly for days. Nicaragua is a country of color. Despite the harsh living conditions and the recent political oppression, the people of Nicaragua remain open-hearted, welcoming and helpful. Truly one of the sweetest people in the world. And with an ongoing economical crisis and a declining tourist business, you will be greeted as a long-lost son arriving here. Let's start by saying this, Nicaragua is a country that needs your money. Compared to neighboring Costa Rica, tourism is going slow and has turned even worse due to the last years of political turbulence. These turn of events have made Nicaragua one of the most affordable countries out there. Comparing to Costa Rica, taxi fares are four to five times cheaper and all the food you need for a day won't cost you more than $10. And most important, the rum is great and widely available. Nicaragua has no less than 19 active volcanoes. The whole place is full of them. Several can be visited by booking trips from your hotel, and the payoff will be huge! The Masaya volcano, one of the most popular, gives a new sense to the word hellhole, ever boiling with glowing magma. Say jungles, exotic animals and dramatic landscapes in Central America, and most people will think of Costa Rica. But fact is, Nicaragua offers pretty much the same range, and you'll afford to see much more of it. A favorite is the awesome volcanic crater lake Laguna de Apoyo, outside Granada. Beaches? Yeah, Nicaragua's got them too, although not with the Caribbean-style white sand. What about cool animals? Get ready to meet various monkeys, the world-famous beautiful macaws, a bunch of lazy iguanas just minding their own business, and bugs. And with some luck, you'll see sloths chilling in the trees best animal ever. Traveling Nicaragua is a true adventure. Sure, it doesn't have all the comforts of a fully-fledged tourist destination, but it's real. You are constantly interacting with the true culture and real everyday life, getting wiser in the process. 
How about crossing the country in an old school bus with part people, part animals? Drinking a bag of juice for half a dollar. Talking about real, Nicaragua's got soul and history that many countries in the region only dream about. The marks of history and beautiful architecture can be found in any bigger city. If you have a sore spot for colonial buildings, you will fall madly in love. Few countries in South and Central America are as backpacker-friendly as Nicaragua. You have an abundance of cheap hostels and hotels to choose from, and a large chunk of the travelers you run into are below 30. In the southwest, you'll find surfing and backpacking hub San Juan del Sur, famous for its Sunday parties, although it used to be a little more busy. I'll say this and I'll stand by it. Nicaragua is one of the safest countries in Central and South America. Political unrest seldom has a direct effect on tourists, and even at night I've never felt the least uncomfortable. In other words, start packing and book your trip now. Or as soon as you're allowed to. That's it! Next time we meet, I'm hopefully in a considerably warmer country, and preferably not in jail. See you again within a week.